just feeding cattle for my dad and uh, it's a bit of a backwards routine really we bag the same mix as we give ours in the hopper into bags off a trailer and uh, and then they bring bring a ration in and then they're on silage actually they're doing really well phil disagrees with me but i think these are doing better than our efforts at home i think they're really filling up fast um, so but there'll be some semi bulks in it by the time February comes and we'll start cashing them in. They'll be big creatures, they really were. Well, some of these, I'm hoping they're late 600s into 700 kilo live weight, but uh, maybe a bit later, maybe into March. So let's hope ours just drop, ours just don't drop out of it in New Year because I don't know, it could, could it? It's at the top at the minute, I don't know. And it's just if there's a shortage of money around. Um, like I said in one of my previous videos, but... I think I've told you in one of my videos, but I'll warn you again. These, our wheat heat went terribly off. Uh, this corner is the only, uh, only place which is warm now. We've had sucker going for an hour or two today. Uh, sucker blower, should I say, that thing happened. Because uh, we've got a hot spot in that corner. The rest of it is, is fairly cool, a little bit in barley. So we've that put that little probe in. But why it's happening, I don't know. No one can really uh, explain it to me. But there's a lot of people with a lot of hot spots. You know, they think the grain has gone in okay. And all of a sudden, it's become... Well, warming places, yeah, and a few bugs and that. We we put some food dry. We we sold a lot actually. We sold a lot and got eliminated the uh, the problem. We moved. Oh Christ! I don't know how many we've turned down to other farm. Moved it about. Used our sucker. We sold quite a few wagon loads before Christmas. Actually, we made. Oh, did we make a week? One ninety or some, which I don't know. I don't know where trade, it's going to start trading after Christmas, but I don't think it's looking real promising. I don't know. I don't. I predict 185, 190, 200 short term. I think. I think if you can sell some at 200, I'm going to sell some. But well, even at 190, I think. So right, we'll turn it all off in here. Turn that one off. Turn that one off. And lights off, but no, beware. I'm warning you, beware. Just walk over your car notes because uh, we've got, I just wouldn't, I'm being a disaster, but we had to, uh, we had to act fast to sort it out, sort of thing. But yeah, yeah, this shed was built in the 60s, it'd be a massive shed when my dad and uncle put this up. My granddad was alive, but he never saw it roofed and concrete. He died before it was finished in Grandad. I never knew it. And uh, yeah, it'd be a huge shed, but now our trailers have got like 16 ton. We're just lacking a bit of uh, uh, height. Right, last job of the day. Let's have a look, walk around these girls. And uh, yeah, these two little twins are doing fine. Yeah, we're bottling them, like. Yeah, them two. Two little uh, bull calves. But the other two, uh, laces and the first one, but her mum is wooden. She's bloody just not feeding it very well, but we have to put it behind here and push calf to it. But it'll come, but she's not been the best, best of mums. But the rest of them, I think there's a couple. I don't know, you'd say in the next week, but, oh. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. What we've got going on here is she started to calve. There was number eight, what's... Yes, number eight, yeah. We thought she was close, so yeah, that surprised me. I didn't think it'd be today though. So what we've got here, number eight's calving. So I'll just keep my eye on her. I'll just leave her for an hour, get me... I've got a livestock camera. I had one last year, but it was bloody useless. Anyway, I've treated myself to a bit better one. And it's marvellous, and I can... But this yard, to be fair, is very hidden. There's too many corners and posts. 
uh, it'd be a lot better in a in a as I say, it'd be a lot better in a yard what I'd uh, I could have view right way around. She could get hidden in a corner. I'll just check rest because yeah, she's definitely having a calf. I hope I ain't gonna bore you with me uh, calf stories. Just not a lot happening on the farm at the minute. So so it's it is a bit limited what footage we can uh, we can get you. We'll make a farmer out of him, yeah. Just needed to race into house and get our Daniel uh, to give get this big bloody sod uh, raved out. I was struggling on my own. And uh, yeah, just a bit of extra might from Muscle Man here. We got it, but bah, she's a big girl. She really is a big girl. So yeah. And she was small in, in, uh, in her area. And yeah, it just took a lot of raving out, so, so yeah, yeah, bit of excitement for electrician. Good outcome, a real good outcome, very pleased. God, it's wick look, it's, it's trying to get up already. God, mother's summer. Mother's summit special. It's just gone straight to it, licking it like mad, and it's trying to get up already. It's only been uh, born five minutes. <coughs> Don't know whether it's an old wife's tail, but someone recommended to put a bit of iodine on roof of their tail, and it makes the apparently it makes the calves as wick as out when they come out, and so far. They've been quite wick, so it's working. So as soon as I sense that they're near, I race round and put oh, half an egg cup full of iodine on the roof of their tail. And uh, yeah, but it, I think it is an old wife's tail, like. This gang is having a right race round. To say a baby, a baby needs all that care and attention. That bugger's gonna be up in five minutes, up in half hour, and under its mum in three quarters of an hour, innit? Mm. We're bloody backward. That's a big one. We bought a bull that had small calves. I missed it, but it's been born about half an hour, 40 minutes. And it's, uh, yeah, it's away. As long as it didn't go through that gate. This gate's been a bad design, really. It wants another. Uh, either a solid piece putting on the bottom, a piece of galvanised, or uh, or another bar putting in place, but because they have fallen through it before. But yeah, it's up and at it. Give it another half hour. It should be on the tit. She's yet to cleanse, so just keep me eye on her. I'm going to leave her to it. I've got my carving camera, and I can see my carving camera's there. Look, and I can see it. Uh, I've only just put it in to be honest, it's marvellous, it really is, but the yard has got too many posts and corners to it for it to work properly, but it's as clear as a bell. I can look at my phone, um, the majority of times I can tell what's going on. I can't remember the name of it, Farm Stream I think, I'll show you. And it won't do really. Yep, it's down again. 
But yeah, I bought one last year. What a load of junk it was. Someone told me it was the bloody best thing since sliced bread and that nah, crap. And since uh, the, the firm who served me, it's sort of one of them fly-by-night jobs gone bust. I'll not cease trading anyway. I'm just going to do its, uh, its navel with iodine and uh, and then uh, leave mum to it. There we go. There we go. Yeah, when you're carving and dealing with iodine, looks like you've uh, smoked 100 fags a day. If you know what I mean. Yeah, that's it. Farm stream, we got it off. And, uh, yeah, we had a cheaper one last year. It was no good whatsoever. Anyway, this, you can, you can turn it. Just do it by, it's linked to your phone. And as many people as you want can link it to their phones. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, yeah, you can zoom in, you can steer it about. You can even, someone can talk on it. So if Nicola's in house watching me bugger about in here and tea's ready, she can shout, tea's ready. And it comes through a speaker on this thing. So yeah, yeah, marvelous. Probably looking at me now. Talking about this thing, crazy, isn't it? Right, yeah, yeah, farm stream it is. Give them a shout. You know, like I've said before, I won't promote anything what's crap, and this ain't crap, it's good. It's real novel, I've spent half my Christmas watching my cows. But right, I think it's, it's been about eight o'clock. So, this will be the last video I'm doing. I uh, moved then, so there may be are looking. Uh, this is the last video I'm doing before New Year, so what I'm going to say is Happy New Year and here's to, a, here's to a good 24. Let's see if we can uh, shape ourselves a bit better and let's hope weather's, weather's a bit more on our side because like I said the other day, it hasn't been brilliant this time has it? But uh, so, right, Happy New Year and bye from, from a rough hard farm in East Yorkshire, bye for now.